Hey guys, Mr. Key here, and who knows have it that a lot of people still visit the bank for a number of things that can be done on their phone. Why do? Anyways, in this video, I'll be sharing with you more tips that you probably don't know you can do on your phone, specifically on the Fidelity app. With that said, let's get right into this, shall we? Now, before I get into the video profile, I want to ask you a question here. So what do you do when you want to request for a signed statement of account? Now, I'm going to tell you what I did. I actually wanted a signed statement of account for traveling purposes. And because of that, I had to drive all the way to the bank at 3 p.m. just to make sure that I meet the deadline. And guys, you know how hectic that would have been given the traffic situation in Lagos. Well, guess what? If I knew what I <laughs> know now, I would never have done that because Fidelity actually has a feature that lets you request for a signed statement of account all without leaving your home. And guys, to do this is quite easy. Just tap on this icon, select statement, and you can choose either one of the three options. Now, selecting the last option will allow you to generate a stamp statement of account within a time frame. Anyways, um, like the average Nigerian, security is always at the forefront of my mind. But guys, when it comes to security, I feel that Fidelity Bank has taken it a step further. And to give you a bit of perspective into why I said that, there's actually a feature on the app that will prompt you to approve and authenticate a change of device when you're logged into the app from a different device. I don't know if it makes sense. So in other words, nobody can actually access your account without you knowing, even if they have access to your details. Does it make sense? But yeah, away from that, let's talk about one of the frequent things that we do on our banking applications, and that is making bill payments. Now guys, I don't know about you, but I find it extremely difficult keeping up with payment dates. I don't know, for some weird reason, I can't always remember the time I renew my cable subscription or even my internet subscription, for example. And even though I get SMS reminders and notifications, from all of the companies that I've subscribed to, I feel that it would make a lot of sense if your bank is the one reminding you since they take care of your money, right? Well, yes, it's been. You can actually get reminded to pay your bills of fidelity. And you don't even need to activate anything to get this to work. Just pay your bills like you'd normally do on the app. Afterwards, fidelity will send reminders when the subscription is about to expire. And guys, this applies to any frequently paid bills. All right, so we've talked about, you know, payment reminders. We've talked about getting the stamps version of your statement of account but what about loans yeah that scary five letter words that has always been a hassle to get well guys getting access to loans with the fidelity app is now easier because it has been you know baked right there into the app now to access it just click here and tap on loans of course you know that getting a loan anywhere is largely dependent on your credit worthiness but yeah, aside from you know getting access to loans on the app, you can actually schedule loan repayments. You can also buy out loans all at the top of a button. But yeah, still on loans, Fidelity actually has um, a different type of loan on the app called Float, which is pretty much Fidelity loan against turnover. And guys, this is one of the instant loan products for active account holders who have you know existing banking relationship with the bank. And how it works is that it allows you to get a loan against a consistent six month credit turnover on your account. And guys, the loan is usually between 10,000 Naira to 100,000 Naira, depending on your credit worthiness, of course. And guys, all of this plus the previous loan option that I mentioned can all be accessed right there on your phone. By the way, for those who don't have access to their phones for some weird reason, you can actually access some of these features by visiting Fidelity's new website. And yeah, anyways, let me know if you knew about any of these features before now and what do you think about all of these new features that I've mentioned. I'd like to know your thoughts on this one. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.